Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Hafiz. As requested in today's video, I will show you how to play your videos on the Sony PSP. Do remember to subscribe to this channel. We have just crossed 800 subscribers and we hope that you can help us reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. The Sony PSP was released in 2004 and it was a hit of its time. On top of being able to play the amazing PSP game library and more than 20 different retro gaming emulators including PlayStation 1, Sega Mega Drive and Game Boy Advance, the PSP is able to surf the net, take pictures, use it as a GPS, play music and videos. However, in order for you to play videos on the PSP, it has to be converted into a specific format. The PSP video will only be supported when it is converted to the H.264 EVC video format which at that time was on par with the DVD format. In this video, I will go through with you how to convert these video files to the PSP format using the free application video converter called Handbrake. I've included a preset setting that you can use to convert this video so that the PSP will be able to read it. For this tutorial, you will need a PSP of any model. You are not required to run custom firmware on your PSP but if you are looking to safely mod your PSP, click the link on the top right or in the description below to see how you can safely mod your PSP. You also need a mini USB if you are using a PSP 1000, 2000 or 3000. For this tutorial, I will be using the PSP 1000 which I had refurbished not too long ago. Click the link in the description to watch the video on how I refurbished the PSP 1000. You will also need the free handbrake application which you can go to using the link in the description below. Next, you will need the video file that you wish to convert. The video file can be either in an MP4 format, EVI or MPEG. This video can be downloaded from YouTube or from its original source. Lastly, you will need a computer. For this tutorial, I will be using a Windows 10 PC but it will work the same way for Mac and Linux PC. This method will work for all PSP model. The difference is that if you are using a PSP Go, you will need the PSP Go cable instead of the mini USB cable as we will need to connect the PSP to the PC to access the memory card. Alright, let's start. Click the second link in the description. It will take you to hambrick.fr. In this website, we will download the free Handbrake application. Here, I'm downloading the version for Windows 10. If you are using a Mac or Linux PC, go through the download section and download accordingly to your system. Let it download and then install it onto your system. Next, go to the third link in the description and download the PSP video preset.zip. The file will be in zip format so you will need WinZip or WinRAR to extract the file. Here, I have installed Handbrake onto my PC. The next one we have is the PSP video preset.zip. Unzip the file and paste the content onto the desktop. Once it is done, go ahead and delete the zip file since we won't be needing it anymore. Copy the PSP video.plist into the PSP video folder. Inside this PSP video folder will be the video that you wish to convert. Here I have a video game trailer of my current favorite game Metroid Dread for the Nintendo Switch. If you have a Nintendo Switch, this is definitely a game for you to add on to your collection. Alright, close the folder and run the Handbrake application. There are two modes here. You can choose the batch mode to convert multiple videos together or in this case since we only have one video to convert, we will use the single option mode to convert the video. Click and select the video to convert. There's a lot of setting here but I'm going to show you what works best. Select iPod 5G support. Next, go to preset. Go to import from file. Next, select PSP video.plist which we have extracted earlier. Press open. Sometimes you will get this notification. It is nothing, just ignore it and close it. Now, go to preset. Go to custom preset. Select PSP. Now, the video converter has been preset to convert PSP video format. All the setting has been set for you. Go ahead and take a look at the setting but try not to change anything as it might interfere with the video conversion. Scroll down and you see the browse button. Click and select the save output to be the same as the PSP video folder for easy access. Next, let's rename the file. Add PSP format so you don't get confused. Next, press save. Now move the mouse up and press start encoding. The encoding process will depend on the size and duration of the video. Usually, a 30 minutes TV show will take about 4 to 6 minutes to render and convert it into the PSP format. Let it do its thing. Once it's done, you can go ahead and close the Handbrake application. Connect the PSP to the PC using the mini USB cable. On the PSP, go to USB connection. Next, press circle to connect the PSP to the PC using the USB mode. 
Once connected, the PSP folder will pop up onto the window screen. Next, look for the video folder. If you do not have a video folder, create a new folder and rename the folder to video all in caps. Next, copy the converted video into the video folder on your PSP. This will take some time depending on the size of the video. Once the transfer is done, go ahead and safely eject your PSP from the PC. Alternatively, you can press X on your PSP to exit the USB mode. Now scroll to video. Press circle. Next, go to the video and press circle to play the video. The sound is just perfect. The video quality is fantastic, no slowdown at all. Pressing triangle will open up the setting menu. Here you can edit the video size, audio quality and fast forward the video. Take your time and explore the other functions available in this menu. And there you go guys, that's how you convert your video into the PSP video format. Being able to add videos onto your PSP just increase the functionality of it. Back in the day before smartphone, I would often convert TED Talk videos and put it onto the PSP so I can watch it during my long commute to the university. I hope you have found this video useful. For more PSP video tutorial, check out the PSP emulation playlist in the description below. As always, do remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. With that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.